Assalamualaikum dear viewers. Shoaib Ahmed is here with a new experiment related to the transformer side. And uh, today the experiment of uh, uh, the transformer which we are doing on this trainer is the power factor analysis of the transformer. So before doing this experiment, we, know, we need to know what is the power factor. The power factor can be defined as the angle between cosine phi, angle between the voltage and the current that is called the power factor or the, it is the ratio of the active power or apparent power is called power factor. The active power is the Kw and apparent power is the Kva. So power factor has the inverse relationship between the uh, your apparent power and direct relationship with the, your active power. And third one is can be also defined as the power factor is the ratio of the resistance over impedance in the circuit. Generally, the power factor is plays a ma major and the vital role in our electrical engineering. And if the power factor is improved and close to the unity one, the uh, our electrical machines, maybe it is transformer, alternators, motors, or work sets factory uh, according to their uh, desirable operations. So, before doing the experiment, again we need to know what kind of the modules that we are using in our experiment and what will be the circuit diagram that we have to follow and to make the connection on this trainer. So if you can see dear viewers uh, from this diagram, we will implement on this trainer and we need to know that what will be the power factor of the transformer over here. First of all, for the demonstration purpose, we are using here the resistive load and the resistive load, the power factor is the unity one. Why? Because there is no angle between, means there will be a no any angle between the voltage and the current. So we have to measure the power factor uh, in this experiment when the resistive load is connected with the transformer secondary side. So before doing this experiment, we need to know this circuit diagram that we have to implement on this trainer. The primary of the transformer is connected with the primary, uh, primary uh, sub voltage source and secondary of the transformer is connected with this load side. Now in between these uh, two uh, your windings, we need to uh, connect the watt meter here. Here is the first watt meter we are going to connect, okay, which will give us the reading of the primary side. Uh, power factor and secondary watt meter is connected with this secondary winding it will give us the secondary side power factor and for from the secondary side power factor it will be like close to the unity because resistive load is connected with the transformer already we will do perform this experiment on this trainer but i have already take the readings that power factor which i have analyzed from this experiment it was the primary winding from the primary side 0.973 and the resistive load which is which was connect with the transformer we have already observed the power factor which was close to the unity 0.999 it will be the like the unity uh, reading so we have to perform the experiment on this trainer First of all, we need to pull out all the wires from the module and again repeat the experiment and verify the results that what will be the power factor from the secondary side of the transformer. So again I am going to pull out these wires and, and we need to observe the power factor. Again you can see primary winding and the secondary winding of the transformer. The primary winding always energized from the uh, primary uh, from the primary voltage source side here is the voltage source we are given and this watt meter give us the primary side uh, this watt meter will give us the primary side reading uh, cosine phi and here this one is give us the secondary side cosine phi okay now we need to connect this so already you know that in the several experiment we have done the watt meter experiment the two points of the current coil and the potential coil will be short, shorted and this shows the primary side I am going to connect the watt meter with the primary side of the transformer okay and this point will connect it with the neutral side okay 
and this will be connected also with the common neutral okay. and this one is connected with this this one so we have connect the watt meter with the primary side of the transformer now we need to connect this uh, resistive load along with the watt meter connect with the secondary side uh, and then we will observe the power factor on the secondary side and even the primary side of the transformer okay now here again the same thing we have to repeat it the two points are going to be short circuited over here and this point is connected with this and we connect we have to connect the load with this okay this point is connected with this okay. and then okay. the connections are being done on the trailer okay we have connect the primary side of the transformer with this primary side watt meter it will give us it will give us the primary side uh, power factor and even though the powers and even this one is the secondary side watt meter will be given which will give us the secondary side power factor now energize the trainer and take the readings okay now you can see uh, dear viewers if you can see this is the power which is to be drawn by the power transformer from the second primary side 10.8 means almost 11 watt it is drawn from the supply power factor if you can analyze the power factor here it is it was the it is the unity one this is a secondary side power factor and this is the primary side power factor almost 90 0.973 so have a take a look that, that this this thing is, has been verified from this experiment that from the secondary side of the transformer the resistive load has been connected so power factor here is the unity one close to the unity one and here power factor on the primary side is the 0.96 or point 97 so this was the experiment of the power factor analysis of the transformer transformer is the two windings the primary winding and the secondary winding the primary winding is connected with the ac supply and secondary winding is connected with the load side here we are going to connect the load which is the resistive one and we have observed the power factor on the both sides the primary side power factor which we have observed the 0.973 and the secondary side power factor which we observed to the 0.99 or close to the unity so this was the dear uh, dear viewers experiment i hope that you have understood the today's experiment at the last please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel shobhi madayo for more interesting videos related to this content electrical engineering electrical machines so i am very thankful for to all of you for your motivation and for your subscription thank you very much